got leopard, we got chicken, and a little robot. We humans have coexisted with the stars for many thousands of years. Thousands of years. Stars represent life and death. Life. They preside death. over the cycles of the universe and give birth to the elements of life. People have looked to the night skies with awe and wonder from time immemorial. Immemorial. I don't even know what that word means. But a catastrophe stopped these same stars. Stars. Relayers. Those who seek the inevitable end of the universe according to its laws. And the star children who resist them. Star children. This is their story. Whoa. Sis, help me! I'm falling to the sky! I didn't know that was a thing. It's okay. I promise I won't let you fall. Be strong, Luna. Don't let go! I'll fall! I, I don't want to die, please! Please, whatever you do, don't let go! Why ain't she falling into this guy? Though? <laughs> well, no! twenty forty nine. A portion of the Earth loses gravity, causing grave destruction. People, vehicles. And shattered buildings suddenly fell upward into space. It's only in like 20 years. It was Are a disaster ready? unparalleled in all of human history. Let me get some heavy boots. I ain't falling into the sky. The city was destroyed in this tragic event. Many lives were lost. The disaster came to be known as the Gravity Loss. The Gravity Technology Development Organization, known as GT Labs, determined that relayers were responsible. However, mankind lacked the tools to fight back. That truth was sure to send the people of Earth into a panic. panic. The United Earth Government in Japan made the decision to conceal the true nature of the catastrophe. Instead, Calling it a meteor strike. Meanwhile, in order to protect Earth from the impending threat, GT Labs, under the leadership of humanity's first star child, Kimiko, began to accelerate development of anti relayer weaponry known as Stellar Gear, as well as the identification of other star children in possession of the will of the stars. 20 star children. Our story, the story of the Star Children, begins on the lunar surface in a colony known as Artemis. Chapter One Awake. But I wanted to sleep then. Don't yell at me. Try and sleep. I had that dream again. It's two years to the day. No wonder, I guess. It's been two years since I lost Luna. And my memory. I have been living in aimless. Gravity took her memory too. Ever since. Somehow. I ended up on the lunar colony, Artemis. Good morning, Master Terra. 
You appear distressed. Was it the usual dream? Good morning, Yuraka. Guess you didn't think to shake me out of it. I do apologize. You woke up of your own accord before I was able to make a decision. I thought that I had let go and moved on. But I guess it's not that easy. You told me you lost most of your memory due to the shock of losing your little sister in the disaster two years ago. Which is perfectly understandable. One does not simply move on from that. I suggest you grieve for as long as you need to. <sighs> Where are you going, Master Terra? To take a shower. I'm all covered in sweat thanks to that dream. As you please. However, checkout is in ten minutes. Are you sure you have adequate time? What? I ask once again. Why is it you didn't wake me up? Mm -hmm. Last night upon retirement, robot you stated, be alarm. I'm tired, so please don't wake me up in the morning. In addition... In addition? I occasionally enjoy seeing you flustered, Master Terra. I find that it greatly stimulates my intellect. Stimulates your intellect? I should put you in a junkyard. Well, where should we go next? Pardon me for being presumptuous, but I assume this journey to be part of your grieving process. Accordingly, I recommend Mars. Don't be so quick to Gonna go to Mars. Okay. Wait, I'm down. Why Mars? Nearly everywhere we have been to date has been a place that you mentioned your sister wanted to visit. Mars is also on that list, hence the recommendation. Furthermore, non-terrestrial environments greatly stimulate my intellect. Hmm. I guess. I'm already on the moon. Might as well see some out-of-the-way places while we're here. Incidentally, how do you intend to travel to Mars? The same way we got here. From that thing. Pardon that thing. me for being direct, but are you a complete fool? What's that what? thing? 80 million kilometers currently separate Earth from Mars. Even making use of the Hohmann transfer orbit, it would take us eight months. Farther than I thought. Alright, pause the game because I gotta come back in eight months. Your navigational ineptitude would surely see us lost and adrift among the stars. Not to mention filthy. Wow. No need to be so harsh. So we're not going to Mars? Why do you keep showing me big robots mm. with guns, but um all you've done is go da 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 Die, human. Whoa. <laughs> what is the matter, Master Terra? That light. No way. It, it can't be. I'm confused. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yuraka? 
Are you all right? No need to worry about me. I'm more relieved to see you in one piece. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're okay. You flatter me, Master. But I really am so scared I lost someone else to this disaster again. I'm sick of losing people I care about. You say, again. Please expound upon that. My... My sister... I lost Luna in a disaster. Just like this. Fire everywhere, they're still Everything just standing here till... Ain't need to go inside somewhere. Everything falling into the sky. It's hard to believe such a thing is even possible. What's going on? So I'm with you, what you really want to know? Uh, who are you? Himiko. Himiko? Star Child. The first star. Himiko. That's my name. I've come to find you. Terra. If you want to seek the truth, then I need your power as the star child of Earth. 2051. I met Himiko. Solar system power in range. A land devoid of gravity. <laughs> Damn it! What the hell is going on? What's this column of light rising from that colony? Strange. Comms with both the base and GT labs are unstable. It's a little odd for cosmic ray interference to... What? Multiple heat signals incoming! What the... Max! Uh-oh. Max is going. What's happening? Are we under attack? See, they got the red robots. You know they're bad. A red quasar. What is its affiliation? Control room. We're being engaged. Numerous unidentified quasars are attacking us. Damn. Comms are out. Did they take out the control room? Hmm. Guess they still want to live. We'll handle this. No. Leave this to me. You take the research lab. Understood. Answer me! Who are you with? Who the hell are you? I'm a star child. A star child? I'm the star child. Of the moon. Bringer of death. To humanity. A dark gear? No way. What is that doing here? Is the star child good or dark bad? Gear. She's good, but so that one seems bad. This is called. I'm relieved to see you in one piece, first star. I'm sorry not to see you in pieces, masked man. Just to confirm, is that girl the one you've been looking for? That's right. She's the star child who possesses the will of Earth, Terra. Hmm. So you're the one. I suppose this must be fate. Um, Himika, do you know this guy in the mask? <sighs> Unfortunately. He is a monitor sent from the United Earth government. And a total. They call me Observer. I've been sent by the United Earth Government to observe the GT Lab's experimental supergravity vessel. I sustained a terrible wound to my face long ago. Ever since, I've worn a mask so as not to upset people. Hey! This is no time for leisurely introductions. Those are relayers, aren't they? Looks that way. 
Relayers are the only ones in the whole universe who can cause gravity loss. What's your star saying? My star is saying they're relayers too. Then it must so. Uh, um, I feel like I'm just watching a movie. Relayer. I thought I was supposed to be playing a game. They're our. No. They're everyone's enemy. <coughs> everyone's enemy? Relayers are disciples of dark energy who hold the fate of the universe in their hands. They have one goal. To extinguish all life by accelerating the expansion of the universe. They're the ones who hit Artemis with the gravity loss disaster a moment ago. What? I believe you witnessed it firsthand. Gravity vanishes seemingly without explanation, and everything is sucked into the void. Yes, I did. People, buildings. Everything was ripped apart, like a scene from a nightmare. Nightmare. Maybe that's why. It's not so hard for me to believe relayers exist. And that's why the stars willed us star children into existence. We are the only ones who can stop their plan and save the universe. Maybe you haven't noticed yet, but there's a star will of the earth deep inside your heart the earth's will is inside my heart observer i'll leave terra to you there's no way a military quasar can handle relayers i'll head out in the stellar gear that's right your stellar gear is here in this lab but do you think you'll be safe out there can i have some gear of course Nothing else. Teach me. I've got sheer luck on my side. Star children are meant to fight relayers. I'm here to give them a galaxy sized beatdown. But still. Besides, they don't call me the first star because I run and hide when the relayers come around. <sighs> I've been to so many countries and various places. And it's true everywhere that no life is easily saved. If you were Urata. A question, if I may. What prompted you to make this decision? If I sat around and did nothing, when I had the ability to help, I'd never forgive myself. I'm tired of having regrets. I've been through two of these awful gravity loss events now. I don't ever want one to happen again. That's all. I find it difficult to understand willingly exposing oneself to danger. Yet I wouldn't expect any less from you. Hey, you two. What you talking? We're here. Where did we, did we even go anywhere? We're here. They're here. We're all Is here. that Astoria? I thought it fell and burned up in the atmosphere after fighting a dark gear two years ago. So it survived its crash landing and been in her hands the whole time. What a stroke of luck. He's so calm, but in his picture he was yelling. Sorry for the wait, Master Terra. No problem. I'd update my software. That was faster than I expected. Fortunately, I was able to establish gravitational relay. I also predicted you might make this decision, so I'd already engaged its autopilot. What would I do without you, Yudaka? Please, step aboard. This gear has already been spotted by multiple enemies. I have no idea how well I can fight, but at least I'll buy some time. You can pull something off here, right, Himiko? Of course. They don't call me the first star for nothing. This is my first time fighting in this. Up until now, How does she I have the robot, though? For getting around. Does it even have weapons? 